We are back and ready to show no mercy because, folks, we're talking Cobra Kai season four. And there we are. I'll be honest with you. I'll come right out of the get go. I'll sweep the leg, all that. Uh, this is my favorite season of this show thus far. Mm-hmm. And Efren and I have talked briefly on this, and I think we disagree on this season, which I'm looking forward to because Efren and I are pretty good, pretty good buds. We don't disagree mm-hmm. a lot. Um, and some of you may think that is by design, but it is not. But, yeah. uh, Cobra Kai season four review. Here we go, Efren. I've mm-hmm. already said enough. What What are you uh, thinking about this this season? Yeah. So, like, what I'm thinking about is, um, maybe I should preface it this way: is that for me, it's just really hard for me to stick to a show long term. Mm-hmm. And the reason why is because you know you start things off, you have a good story to tell, and then I feel like they tell that story, and then now they're just grasping to keep making the show. And to keep just make finding ways to make the show last longer. And a lot of shows have had these issues. Um, probably the one that didn't have this issue to me was uh, was Seinfeld because since that show was about nothing, you could just make it up. And who really cared? There wasn't like an overarching theme. It was just stuff that happened, and it was hilarious. Um, but I find shows like, for instance, Arrow. I used to really like that show, and then they told the story. It was great, and then after that, it was like they're just grasping. I, I think. The more seasons you get, the harder it is to retain me. I'll say that for oh, me. I get, yeah, I get that. And so, and so leading this, a story that they've been telling over the first three series, it seemed like this fourth season was a series, series, seasons. This series fourth series. season, yeah, series, yeah. season, whatever. This fourth season was actually going to be that. Like it was going to say, okay, we're bringing this thing to a close. We're keeping mm-hmm. this together. And then they just found a way to make it last more. And that's where it just kind of felt, yeah, beyond this. And I was just kind of like, is this necessary? Like, it just felt like they're just trying to, like, I get it. People are watching it. We got to make more money. Let's let's make more of a show. Let's move, let's keep this ball rolling. Um, And that's why for me, like, there were some episodes where just kind of got me like, I just just felt very filler to me because they needed to extend this because they didn't want to actually conclude the story. And that's the thing to me was just like, I, this isn't, I, I can't, stuff, stuff like this, I can't just watch forever. Like, I need the story to conclude. And that's where I have a lot of my issues, is just the storytelling aspect of it. Mm-hmm. I get that. I get that. I'm like that, while you were going into that, going into this season, I'm like that going into season five. Okay. Because season five is where I think, okay, now it's time to put a bow on this thing. Because mm-hmm. that's where I, I guess where I somewhat disagree where i'm like i don't think they've gotten to that point yet but i think if they go beyond season depending on what they do season five i Mm -hmm. think it's hard to get to that point um you know this one this season in my opinion just had so much character development with all these characters um you know and the whole back and forth with the the, you know eagle fang Mm -hmm. miyagi do that whole thing and then you bring in Terry Gill, you know, Terry and Crease and their whole thing. That was just, um, that brought a whole new dynamic to the show because it wasn't just, you know, them versus Cobra Kai. It was Cobra Kai's bringing in their own little division there. So it was mm-hmm. like division within the division, I guess. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'll right, right. Stick poster. Right there, there you go. Gotcha. You know, so everybody, everybody on this show had a really great character development, in my opinion. Um, you know, we got Tori there, who's one of my favorite characters on the show. Got to hear more about her character and what mm-hmm. she's going through. Um, you know, a little bit more of what it's like to be uh, the son of a karate champion. You know, mm-hmm. talk about, you know, here he was a, you know, um, Daniel's son is a bully. That whole right. storyline I thought was great. And then, like I said, bringing in Terry to, you know, back with Crease, that whole thing from the movies way back. Mm-hmm. You know, his new life clashing with his old life and that monster being brought back up into him. And then Kreese has this moment of what have I created? What have I done? Mm-hmm. You know, um, to which I'll say uh, you may have said this or I think someone may have said I don't know who it was, but they were like, uh, if you're trying to make me feel sympathetic for Kreese, don't even start that, you know, <laughs> um, which I think yeah. is just uh like I said, it, it depends on what they do in season five. But I, the character yeah. development in this season just really, it kept me really, really into it. And there's a lot of mm-hmm. great hilarious moments too. 
Yeah, there was. There was a lot of great hilarious moments. I think it just felt a little like a lot of the stuff. Like I think the best character development came from the kids, personally. Yes, it did. Like which which I which I would agree. Like there is a lot of great character development there, seeing their struggles, their ups, their downs, and you know their revenge seeking, all that stuff. Which I'm just like, yeah, I get that. And so like to me, when you talk about character development, it all came from them. But where I got annoyed is I felt like they tried to push the character development with with um, Johnny and Larusso. But it just felt so soap opera-y. It felt so rehashed because it was just like, all right, you've already had, you know, three seasons of them, will they, won't they kind of relationship. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of season three, you have the, all right, they're going to work together. And then you break them up again. It felt very to me like in in movies when they have sequels, like, they, you know, you have a couple that they spent this whole movie uh, – getting together like a Jurassic world. They spend this mm -hmm. whole movie, this couple gets together. And then now the very next movie, uh, we don't have anything to do with them. So let's break them up. And oh, then yeah. now they have to. And so it felt that way with me, with Johnny and Daniel. I was just like, ah, oh, really? Like, this is what we're doing. So it just felt to rehash. I'm like, why can't we just have them both now together struggling to defeat, to defeat Cobra Kai, mm -hmm. you know? And so like, and so since that dynamic felt rehashed, even the whole tournament felt rehashed to me because they've already lost to Cobra Kai once. Like Daniel's already lost that, that battle. Mm -hmm. And then here he comes and he loses it again. Mm -hmm. And it just felt kind of like we're repeating a second act instead of just closing things out on the third. Like that's where I felt like it just felt kind of like, you know, like it, it, like we should have, we're stretching it out here. We should have ended it. Mm -hmm. um, and so, it, it, and it was, so that's where I, I feel kind of that tension. Like I agree, like bringing silver in and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um that added a different that, dynamic in that's Cobra the, Kai. That's best part of the, the season, in my opinion. No, and I agree. Cobra. Yeah. Yeah, I think adding him was a good element. I think that was needed. But I think it would have been better if, like, them two together were trying to do that. And they both realized them two were not, were not good enough to defeat those two. As opposed mm -hmm. to them two separately mm -hmm. trying to defeat these two. Like, it, that, that's why it didn't work. So if, if they both would have failed working together against them too and then they failed in season four and now it's like gosh we have got to figure out a way and then they have to bring in like they did at the end of the season they brought in uh, you know what's his name from from okinawa um mm -hmm. you know okay that yeah. would be more interesting i think okay a season five is warranted but since they didn't do it like that that's why mm -hmm. i've been struggling with the storytelling aspect of it the character development was great it's the story that just felt a little stretched because like yeah, silver was great. I think that was needed. Um, and even the way they ended with Crease, I don't think for me, I feel no sympathy for Crease. I'm like, you, yeah. you deserve this. Yeah. And I, and I felt like that's that. I was kind of like, look what you did. This, you know, reap reap the fruits of your benefit here. Like this is mm -hmm. this is what you get. So like there is no there is nothing there for me. But it was like okay, like we need to move this thing. And then even with um, Miguel, like having him like going off, like to me to me. To me, mm -hmm. that's lazy writing. Like, okay, we need this character to go somewhere. We don't know what to do. Let's just have him go look for his dad. Oh, and, yeah, there at the end. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, at the end. And I'm just kind of like, yeah. what? Like, that, like it just, what, what, like, you're building, you've been trying to build this relationship with, with Johnny, with him, mm -hmm. and then now you're just going to send him off? It just seems to me like they didn't know what else to do with this character, so let's have him send it off so we can kind of figure out what we're going to do with him. And so that's the kind of stuff that gets me a little bit. So that's why I'm like, like I like the season, but I wasn't in love with it. And gotcha. I felt like they could have tied some of that stuff together. Yeah, you're right. It, you're right. It sucked. It was complete trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, I get your points, definitely. And I will say, uh, I will say about this show, as much as I enjoy it, the relationships, the trust factor for the relationships in this show is, is, is thin, is, is just very thin ice because people mm -hmm. just completely fall apart so quickly on this show yeah. you know it's like one minute you know he's trusting johnny next minute he johnny has no idea what he's talking about you know and it was kind of a predictable thing where it was like and i told megan this i was like okay they're gonna get to a point where they realize they're gonna have to take his way and his way and combine them to be successful and work mm -hmm. together you know and they don't realize that until like the very excuse me the very end you know right. um so that part was a little bit predictable but mm -hmm. the characters the kids who you know honestly this was the season where as great as johnny was who i mean he has been awesome on this show um and he he had some great one-liners in this season mm -hmm. and he's you know billy zavka has done incredible you know 
um this is the season that the kid the the kids of the show really took it over and was like this is about Mm -hmm. us you know and that and i just appreciate that you know and um but i i will Mm -hmm. say this is a story you can't tell too much longer i I do agree with that like how many times are we going to see you know we got to get to the hill valley state championship you know we got to win this you know i really hope season five has nothing to do with that go do yeah. something completely different and put a bow on this thing because you've got a pretty mm-hmm. solid series so far. And, mm-hmm. and what I also appreciate appreciate about this show is it doesn't take itself too seriously, mm-hmm. you know. And you know, I, and it's pretty self aware for the most part. And yeah. uh, I, I appreciate that to an extent. Yeah, and I, and I think that's where my struggle is because it is it is self aware. It knows what it is. It, it can't be on purpose, which I greatly appreciate. Like, I appreciate the campiness. I appreciate that they're really leaning into that 80s cheese. Like, yeah. I love it. They're just doing it today. Like, so I love all that. But it, that's, I think that's where, and I think this is where you're feeling it. Like, you can't do this too, too much longer. Can't. Is, is when you have that campiness and 80s cheese kind of thing. You can't forever tell a story, especially like this one, where it's like, I'm sorry. You can't believe that there is a town this obsessed with karate <laughs> for that long. Like, it, 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 only, it has a shelf life. Like you, you just can't do it, right? I mean, even you had Karate Kid one, two, three, and then you had the next Karate Kid. They had to tell a different story. You know, you couldn't they, like they, even that couldn't have been continued. So I think, you know, this show like it, like it to me. I felt like it needed to end in season four. It didn't. Now I'm a hundred percent like if it doesn't end season five, like you 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 will end up butchering a good thing you had going. I'm really anxious to see what they do with season five Mm -hmm. um and you know a trailer i'm I'm really hoping to see a trailer um obviously not soon because they're probably still making it but i like what i'm trying to say sorry it's very late um is uh i'm anxious for the trailer to see what they're going to do with season five yeah um i will say shout out to robbie on this show um uh johnny's son who has the impressively has the same same exact facial expression <laughs> every scene no matter every happy sad yeah. thrilled winning a karate match losing a karate match yeah he is the exact same that 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 kind of halfway like fish slips him. how they got a mannequin <laughs> just... to, to speak is just yeah hats off to the writers and no offense to that actor he's you know yeah but, i'm so I'm convinced in season five robbie come on yeah, I think I could be completely wrong on this, but I'm convinced that he just generally knows martial arts well, and they yeah. just needed someone who was really good at martial arts, mm-hmm. and they just picked him, and he's just not the best actor. That's like, I'm truly convinced that's what it is. Yeah. But, I mean, it's... for the most part, everybody on this show is doing a really good job acting wise. I mean, you yeah. know, uh, one oh by the way, one storyline I, I did like was the the little kid who came into Cobra Kai who Robbie was mm-hmm. trying to train. Uh, yeah, he was the guy that. Uh, Daniel's son was bullying that whole storyline right. was that was probably one of my favorite of the season i really mm-hmm. love that storyline and see where they go where they're going with it mm-hmm. um because cobra kai has created another monster in him um yeah. but uh and even yeah. the effect it had on robbie that yeah. was that was really what tied that whole storyline together for me i'm like i like yeah. that now, now robbie's like he looked I, I failed i think he had the mm-hmm. same face that he did <laughs> but he he looked effective definitely. Yeah. yeah but uh Cobra Kai season four. Um, I really enjoyed it. Efren was kind of, what you said, we'd say mixed feelings on it. Yeah, probably mixed feelings at best. Okay. Yeah, I get that. And, and while we're talking about it, I don't want this episode to be too long because, uh, you know, it is in the PM and I'm an old man. But <laughs> I got to say, there is something that happened in this season, as much as I enjoyed it, that I thought was one oh, of the yeah. dumbest things I've ever seen on a TV show. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you've seen the season, you know I'm talking about the rooftop jump. Yeah, uh, where Johnny takes all these kids, these teenagers, these high school students, up to this roof and 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 tells them to jump to the next building. Um, a pretty long jump, not yeah, like a little. Hop. And he put mattresses at the bottom of the <laughs> like three. <laughs> yeah, three little you know twin bed mattresses, and and I'm thinking, okay, this is going to be a lesson. He's not really going to have them do it, but he was dead serious, and he was he was pretty pissed off that that only one. That, it was just Daniel LaRusso's daughter who I, her name escapes me, but mm-hmm. that really completed the jump. And I was just like, okay, that was real. And I'm all about suspending disbelief on this show and being self-aware, mm-hmm. but that was a bit much. That it was. was. Just, yeah. I don't know what happened there. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, she flew. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> like this is not crouching tiger, hidden, uh, <laughs> hidden dragon. This is uh, I know yeah. you're doing karate, but come on. And and then you know he <laughs> and I know Johnny's insane, but that that was a bit much. Yeah. So. Yeah, exactly. I loved it. That was that was awful. Yeah, because like the whole getting the cement mixer thing, you know, season mm-hmm. one, I guess. Like it was like, oh yeah, that's hilarious, whatever. Yeah. But yeah. that one, that one was just that was, that was too much. I agree, and that and yeah. it just to me that they wasted a whole episode on that. I was just like, oh come on, like that's what, yeah. what I felt fillerish. Another thing I'll say, Stingray's neighbor, <laughs> he was right. <laughs> this guy should not have these kids in his house drinking partying like that's weird and wrong yeah i guess you know he was just a jerk about going you know, going about it you know but i i looked at megan i was like i kind of agree with the neighbor <laughs> you know i know right guys kind of you know um, yeah you know uh, gary was being the adult in the room that's for sure i was trying, <laughs> like wait I was a like, second this is so irresponsible you got karate <laughs> kids drinking they're gonna kick each other's faces off out of, <laughs> by the pool you know yeah. and it's just just Brutal. Yeah, whatever. You know. No, which, by the way, I gave Gary a, re- a revelation about Stingray. Yes, you did, and it totally and, blew my mind. That guy. Yes, man. yeah. And if you don't know, the same actor in that plays it's Stingray, Park, the yeah, Park. he plays Richard Jewell in Clint Eastwood's movie Richard Jewell, Based and on uh, the real life guy Richard Jewell. Yes, and uh, just so you know, that is seeing him in that. Seeing him in this, that guy can act. I want more of him yeah. in movies. He can yeah. act. Yeah, I'm gonna go um, check out his IMDb page later and find out what else he's been in because wow. And if you haven't seen Richard Jewell's Got Some Language, but highly check it out. True story of how our media can really trash an innocent person. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, because he was great in that, and I was like, man, I can't. I I was like legit like taken back at lunch. You told me, and I was just yeah. like. No. Oh yeah, you, oh yeah. Gary did not believe me, ladies and gentlemen. No, I, and I was like, I was like, I was like, okay, how am I gonna nicely tell my friend here that he's wrong? Yeah. There's no way that was Richard Jewell. And yeah. I pull up my dime to be machine. And I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, it was. I was like, what yep. the heck? Holy yeah, I, su- I surprised my wife too. I was like, oh look, look who it is, and she's like, yeah. no, and she looked up, yeah. it is. I'm like, I told you, see, look at him, because yeah. you know before that I hadn't seen the movie the other season, so I, so I saw the movie recently, and then when I, when he showed up, I was like, it's him, and I, it yeah. just blew my mind. It was great. While we're talking about, let me pull up the IMDb machine, uh, just to give him major props here. Oh man, I can't type tonight. Sorry, I apologize, folks. This is. I thought you were ready, Gary. I was sorry. Usually Gary's more prepared. It's late. I know. Yeah. Forgive him. Paul Walter Hauser, Richard Jewell. There he is. Yeah. So there you um, go. Great actor. You know, anyway, no. uh, season four, did you watch it? What'd you think? Do you mm-hmm. think they should wrap it up in season five? What do you think they'll do in season five? Comment on the bottom. Let us know. And, uh, maybe we'll agree with you. Maybe we'll disagree with you and, uh, get a little friendly argument via the comments. Mm-hmm. Proud. Yep. Hey, you saw Gary and I nicely go at it. You can too, down in the comments. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know what? Is is Efren is accepted the fact that he's wrong? Very classy. So good job. That's, that's whatever helps you sleep at night, Gary. If uh, that will help you, then sure, right, go right ahead. Absolutely. So I mean, I, I mean, you're talking about a guy who's wearing the hat of a team that is terrible. You're wearing the hat of an association that is on strike. So whatever, we're both losers here. <laughs> yes, and oh boy, if we, folks, if we don't have baseball, you better subscribe to this channel because I will have <laughs> nothing. I will literally be on here every day talking about making this. videos. It's yes. probably for the best for yeah. you too. You get more content, so exactly. make sure you subscribe. You may not be and turn on the bell so you don't miss out on that content because yes. Gary's going to have a lot of videos. Yes, coming. So. All right, peace out, homies. All right, see. Ya.